In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Today we celebrate the memory of the Apostle Barnabas. And we hear Jesus say to the Apostles, but also to us, Travel light, get going, and proclaim the good news. Let us remember God's mercy, that is our good news. And let us pray for the forgiveness of our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. of the Apostles. In those days a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manion, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them on. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The, the Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The, the Lord, Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. But the Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the 
ends of the earth and sing the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The, the Lord, Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out the demons. Without cost you have received, without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts, no sack for the journey or a second tunic or sandals or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us continue our prayer to the Lord. For our church, here and all over the world, the unity of Christians and all God's people, for peace in our nation during these days of unrest, in our world during this pandemic, and for all our elected public officials, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all victims of the coronavirus, scientists, researchers, first responders, healthcare professionals, the elderly, hospitalized, those in nursing care, and for all who participate with us virtually at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all inactive Catholics and for non-Catholics, that they may know God's love through this Holy Eucharist and our Catholic faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations, the reverence of all human life and religious liberty. For the poor, victims of abuse, the unemployed, marginalized, refugees, and displaced people of our world. That they may know God's love through our care compassion, and charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dying, our beloved dead, especially Florence and Raymond, and the comfort of all those who grieve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the silent intentions of our hearts, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We ask this of you, Father, in, in the name of your crucified and risen Son, Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the fields and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash me of my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my sisters and my brothers in baptism, that the offering we bring to this holy altar might become the sacrifice which is acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify with your blessings, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love by which saint barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for all ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all of our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walks with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that, by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Curtis our Bishop, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our sisters and brothers. Inspire us in word and action to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our sisters and brothers, especially Florence and Raymond, who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the light of full life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her all good and holy husband Joseph, the blessed apostles Peter, Paul, Barnabas, the martyrs, Saint Anthony, our patron, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, with the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now in prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of our world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. As we have received the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the Apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the prayers of the Holy Mother of God, together with all the saints, especially the Apostle Barnabas, whose memory we keep this day, and St. Anthony, our patron, may the Lord bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day. Be safe and be healthy.